You might need subtitles because this camera is sound. It might be difficult for you to understand me. If you're going to leave, please stop and do us a favor. And thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Now, this is called Saving the United States Constitution by the Defeat of the Rockefellers. The asteroid Rockefeller is very prominent in my astrological charts. I have had a strong but remote link with the family since I was two years old in 1949. For a while, I was Jay Rockefeller's next door neighbor. It has been forensically demonstrated that Jay put on a fake dimpled chin to earn mega millions of dollars as comedian Chevy Chase. We, America, I mean Americans, almost lost the Constitution. Here is the tale. In 1982, the Rockefeller family, bit by bit, was gaining voters in Congress for an amendment to abolish the Constitution of the United States of America. They were on the verge of success. In the mid-1800s, the name Rockefeller appeared in a privately circulated and secret book entitled Americans of Jewish Descent. In the Holy Writ, the leader of the family is identified by his deeds as the Prince of Meshech and Tubal who acquired control over the merchandising in the USA and in fact the family became owners of the biggest corporations in South America and all the corporations of Japan Inc. secretly. For instance, Sony stands for Standard Oil of New York, which is Rockefeller's Exxon Company, previously Esso. In 2024, the family has been tagged as one of the principals of the Kazarian Mafia, though posing as Christian, it has been found to practice Satanism. It funded the Tavistock Military Researching Hub for controlling of the minds of folks in England and Ireland. I mean, the hubs were in England and Ireland. The folks are everywhere. The destruction of the Prince of Meshach and Tubal is foretold in the Holy Writ and is expected to be accomplished by the end of the year 2025. That is my guessing, though. The King of Kings says four years. Uh, right now, as I record this, it's October 2024, so that would be around 2028, if, if that's what he meant. He just said the phrase four years uh, while I was thinking that. Rockefeller's progress toward the attempted abolition of the Constitution was chronicled week by week in the Spotlight newspaper published by Willis Carto's Liberty Lobby. Working with Liberty Lobby and persuading Congress folk not to pass the proposal for abolition was a young woman a graduate of my brother's alma mater, George Mason University in the D.C. suburbs, named Trisha Katzen. What happened? 
Oh. Trisha's surname is typically Jewish, and her sister's name is an uncommon Hebrew one, so that it appears that she is a Jewess. Yet Wikipedia falsely has claimed that Liberty Lobby was anti-Jewish because it joins the faithful rabbis in decrying the atheistic and malevolent Khazarian state deceptively called Israel. While Trish was successfully lobbying Congress and thus holding it back from voting against the Constitution, I was privately conducting a secret solo operation. At the time, I was a driver of deliveries in Washington, D.C. and surrounding suburbs. I had access to many buildings of government and universities. In the men's room of each of them, I wrote with felt pen, quote, slay David Rockefeller, end quote. A man named Dr. Peter Beter issued regularly a political reporting filled with precious intel, mostly about the conniving of the Rockefeller family. After a few months of my solo campaign, the Rockefellers dropped their campaign against the Constitution. David Rockefeller feared for his life. Dr. Beat, Dr. Beter, who had previously appeared to be anti-Rockefeller, suddenly became mouthpiece for the Rockefellers. He claimed that the, quote, big four, end quote, Rockefellers, who were the ones involved in politics, the leaders of the family were David, Lawrence, Nelson, and Winthrop, had all been slain according to Dr. Beter, and replaced by substitutes. He might even have said clones, but I, I don't recall. I don't believe that to be true, but just a deception to take the metaphorical heat off of them. After a while, it appeared that they were all alive. The spotlight had told that David's hobby was to collect insects. When he was reported to have died, when David was reported to have died at the age of 101, I wondered whether it was a true reporting. Not long time afterward, I met an entomologist who declared that some rich guy had died and left his abundant collection of insects to the people at large. I am Pahana's helper of the Hopi prophecy. Pahana in 1972 forfended martial law from taking over the United States of America by his, re I say of America because uh, Brazil is the United States of Brazil, and um, Mexico is the United States of Mexico, so we have to be specific. By his recruiting, uh, Pahana recruited agitators Abby Hoffman and Rennie Davis, thus forfending the riots from erupting all over the USA on May 1st as scheduled. I was traveling around at that time. Every city I went, the posters all over the place saying uh, to, there were going to be rallies on, on May Day, May Day rallies, which was meant to uh, cause riots, which would be responded to by uh, martial law. So Pahana prevented that by recruiting the agitators into his um, well, uh, orb, you might say. Similarly, Willis Carto, Trisha Katzen, and I, 10 years later, forfended the abolition of the Constitution of the USA. 
Have you seen this documented elsewhere? It's true. If you want to help me to get decent equipment, then look for donation links below. It may be a few days before I'm able to put them in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you want to know more about me, I'm going to display something on the camera, but uh, it's going to be backwards because the camera reverses everything. These signs I showed you, I had to write them, I actually wrote them backwards, and the camera reverses them. I don't know why. But here's how you can find out more about me. I can't see, I can't see uh, whether you can see that or not, but um, you might have to use a mirror. So thank you very much for coming, and we'll see you next time.